hello, Mac Ninja here. So I will be wearing a costume right now, but we just had a typhoon yesterday, and a typhoon knocked up hell of a pick. So I had to walk down 13 floors, walk over here, go up like four floors, and then I realized, hey, I need that hat and a mask. But I don't want to go all the way back, so because of my laziness, you, you see me again today. But don't worry, I'm very critical, so it's okay. Anyways, so I wanted to help go with um, two homework problems to um, give the solution to them. One of my kids, he, he, he is a small kid, he is a, like an Indian child, Indian child who lives at an oasis and, and you, you know what's in me. I'm not racist, I'm just joking. Oh, I had a Two Indian roommates in my life, and they've been awesome. They've been really awesome. Rabu Kacharya and Kanda. One, we, we, this is how we're going to go. His name will be Taji, because like from Johnny Quest, and my name will be Pochi, so it means Pochi. Anyways, that's a problem with that right there. Anyways, so, um, so I want to prove question 17. In the Shifrin, Shifrin, and it's page. Well, I have two of them, but I want to do. Well, let's do first of all. Okay, let's do the easier one. Page 145. So, and this is an A and B question. Two parts. So, the first part says we have two matrices, right? And we want to say these, and these two matrices are two M by N matrices that are non singular. So A and B are M by N. Then A, A, B, A, B, M by N are non singular. Okay. Alright, so A, B, non singular, M by N, non singular. And we also have, I want to say, to the question to ask you, if A, B are not singular, prove A times B is not singular. So, okay. Very simple. So, the proof is very simple. So, suppose A B singular, then A D X equals zero for some X that's not zero. Before. Okay. So then we know, but okay here, we can test. That's also a vector. That's a vector. This guy here is a vector. So A is singular, right? A is not singular. And this implies the only way for A times a vector equals zero. It means AX has to equal zero. So that's the only way. Because A is singular, it's not singular. But here's the thing. But B is also singular, singular. It's not singular. B is also non-singular. That's just a weird word, non-singular. So So now, that for by the way, the results of the other system is just multiply by non-singular matrices and just maintain the 
not from the other But now when you multiply by singular matrices, you actually maintain the singular matrix. You cannot multiply two singular matrices and end up with something beautiful, not singular. Not possible. By the way, I know I'm going to get somebody to email me and say, determinants, use determinant rules, show determinant does not equal zero. But let's be honest, this is just way too much because it's strictly definition. So, I am a simple man. And okay, the, the proof to show that the determinant has no singularity is not as easy as what I'm doing now. So, anyways, I'm teaching my kid that thing. I will teach you that Okay, A to the B and then singular. True. A to B singular. Let's see. So, okay. So, ten seconds. Okay, thank you very much. That is the first homework question. I'm going to pause here and submit a second, the second homework question, which has to do with the most base of a, of a three by four. What was it? A four by four? Something like that. Okay, excellent. Naftinja, out for four seconds.